हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अभिजीत एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल ए बी स्टडी सर्कल डू लाइक कमेंट शेयर एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब सो दैट यू डोंट मिस एनी वीडियो फ्रॉम ए बी स्टडी सर्कल इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट क्लोज सिस्टम वर्क नाउ इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर we will discuss about open system work or commonly known as flow work open system work or flow work in closed system work we have shown that work done is integral pdv but for open system work the work done is equal to minus integral vdp right now if we draw this on a pv plot then the area under the curve projected on pressure axis will define the open system work then we can write it as flow work is equal to area under curve projected on pressure axis on pv plot as we have now got the generalized formula for work done for open system now we will discuss open system work for various processes or oh, various processes the first process is constant volume first we will draw the pv plot for this process there is two state state 1 state 2 and the process is going from state 1 to state 2 and it is a constant volume process so volume is constant and when we project this on the pressure axis the area under this will provide us the work done for closed system open system the work done is given by minus v p2 minus p1 when we get this minus sign inside this it will be converted into p1 minus p2 into v this is the work done for constant volume process now we will next process is constant pressure again pv plot as it is a constant pressure then on the pressure axis the pressure will be constant p1 minus p p1 is equal to p2 is equal to p the process is going like this way then the corresponding volume will be v1 
and corresponding volume will be V2 for state 2. Now, as the generalized formula for open system work is W is equal to minus integral V dP and as we know that P is constant, dP is 0, therefore work done is equal to 0. Now the third process is isothermal process. The generalized formula for open system is W is equal to minus integral V dP, right? But the isothermal law is PV is equal to constant which is equal to MRT or it can be written as P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2 that is can be written as MR T1 is equal to MR T2 now from this equation this is equation 1 from equation 1 we can say that V is equal to constant by P or C by P now put this in your generalized equation or equation A now A becomes W is equal to minus integral P1 P2 we are changing this V by C by P dP now we have uh, this is a constant this is a variable and this is differentiation of that variable so we can write it as C ln natural log P P2 P1 or it can be written as minus C ln P2 minus ln P1 or when we put this minus sign inside this then it will become as C ln P1 minus ln P2 now as the C is constant then we can write this as W is equal to P1 V1 ln P1 by P2 we have used the concept of logarithm here and we got this formula the next process is adiabatic process the work done for adiabatic process for open system is given by integral uh, gamma p1 v1 minus p2 v2 by gamma minus 1 the next process is polytropic process the work done is same as adiabatic just we replace this gamma by n n into p1 v1 minus p2 v2 by n minus 1 this is 
the open system work for various processes we have discussed here. Before summing up this open system work concept, last important observation which I want to discuss with you is that observation for isothermal process W is equal to P1 V1 ln P1 by P2 which we have proved earlier is same for closed system and open system and you will say how it is possible let's show you how it is possible see PV is equal to constant this is the isothermal law right now differentiate this PDV plus VDP is equal to 0 we are moving this in the right hand side minus VDP now integrating integrating both side so it will be integral PDV is equal to minus integral VDP this is your closed system work and this is your open system open system work so you see that these two are same that's why we are getting W is equal to P1 V1 ln P1 by P2 for both closed system and for open system it is a very important concept and this is a very good question so how it is possible that closed system and open system uh, work for isothermal process is same and you can simply prove this thing in the following manner.